Claims and counterclaims are being made over the reported switch of allegiance by Labour Party leaders in the Southwest to the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, that's Bola Tinubu. Omotosho Banjo, who identified himself as chairperson of the Southwest branch of the party, said at a press conference in Akure on Monday that the party in the region has collapsed its structure into the support groups of Tinubu ahead of the February 25th presidential election. However, the Ondo state chairman of the Labour Party, Mrs. Remileko Ojo, in a statement on Monday, dismissed the claim of defection by the party leaders to APC. She described Banjo, a former caretaker chairman of the party in Ikiti State from 2017 to 2019, as an expelled member of Labour Party. She also says the Labour Party in the Southwest remains one and an indivisible party. Ekiti State Coordinator of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Moses Jolayemi, joins us now to provide clarity to the claims and counterclaims and to discuss other related issues going into the 2023 general election. Good to have you on Newsday. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me here. It's a pleasure, Mr. Jolayemi. Now, let's let's decide which one is it has there been a defection has there not been you know just put the 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 um what's the word the rumors to rest tell us what exactly is happening with the labor party are you still one well thank you very much i i wouldn't say there were no defections or there were defections what do i mean these are groups not known, you know, by the Labour Party. They have, you know, as far as I'm concerned, fake groups being led by fake people, you know, whose character and uh, personalities are not stable, you know. So I, I don't know. I really don't regard them as anything because it doesn't change anything in Labour Party. If, take for instance, why has it taken them so long to, you know, take this decision? We all know that the APC, where they claim they are defecting to, they are not going there because they feel that APC has done well as a party to want to continue in office. They... That's not what they are saying. I mean, because they know that not to be the situation. But the fact is that the money which they are all after has finally arrived. Now it's time for them to move. You see, this uh, brand of political, uh, I mean, this brand of politicians, they are, I call them political scavengers, you know, uh their followership or their interest you know and loyalty are defined and determined by how much is on ground and the figure had better been long otherwise you will not get their loyalty or there won't be these uh, so-called defections and all that these are traders these are political jobbers they move, that's how they move, you know, so there is nothing about them. When you look at the leadership, you will know, and I can tell you loads about the lead leadership, but maybe we, we, let me stay within uh, the question you have asked. So as far as I'm concerned, I won't call it defection. It's just a defection of some uh, very selfish, greedy individuals who are called scavengers. So it doesn't... It doesn't, it doesn't take a skin from our nose, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, in addressing this issue, uh, Mr. Banjo Omotosho had made reference to being contacted by the DG of the Labour Party presidential campaign, that being Mr. Oshun Tokun, and he said that he doesn't know who he is, he doesn't recognize him, uh, which was almost a reminder of some of the tension and dissent that was created upon the appointment of Mr. Oshun Tokun as the DG. 
Has the Labour Party done enough to appease those who felt that the new DG of the party should have come from the northern part of the, the, the nation as opposed to the southern? Well, um, what, I can, what I can say there is that uh, I think there is a misconception. And that misconception lies in the fact that the appointment of uh, uh, Chief uh, Akio Shuntoku is uh, probably being misunderstood. Uh, even at the local level, I think I came across something similar. They, f you know, felt that uh, the presidential campaign council was uh, like coming to use up their duties or things like that, you know. Whereas the the two, I mean, the established party structure, the exco, and all that, they are supposed to work, and that is what is going to happen now. They will work, you know, uh, in hand in hand with the presidential campaign council because there is only one goal anyway for the party people, and uh, for the uh, presidential campaign council, they have only one goal. And for that reason, we we'll work together, synergize, so that, you know, uh, things can be, you know, uh, made to work the way we desire it should. Well, Mr. Jolayemi, thank you so much for joining us here on Newsday. We appreciate your time. Thank you.